Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 10.30 at Tuesday. Welcome to our live stream directly from our booth in Munich on the IFAD exhibition. We will show you in the next couple of minutes a unique system and a worldwide innovation. Let's start with a worldwide innovation. It's the Dulcadis LP, a system for the disinfection of water with UV light. I mean, we all know UV light from the sun makes us feel good, but we also know that UV light can be harmful for us. And this attribute we can use for the disinfection of water. Um, Wolfgang Matthijs is the product manager at Promenade. Good morning, Wolfgang. Good morning. He will tell us how it works. Uh, first of all, Promenade offers nearly all the common opportunities for the disinfection. What is the big advantage of the disinfection with UV light? Yeah, th that is true. To have the complete portfolio for disinfection for Promenade is very important because at the first step, we would like to understand the challenge and the problem of our customer of to be able to offer exactly the right and best solution for him. So coming to the advantages, advantages for, of UV, we are having one big advantage that there are some microorganisms which cannot be inactivated by chlorine. Yeah. They are chlorine resistant. And these kind of microorganisms can easily be inactivated by UV. Inactivated means that these organisms, these germs, um, are impotent afterwards yeah. meeting UV light? Yeah. yeah, you can say so. Actually, UV is attacking directly the DNA of microorganisms. Yes. It's altering the DNA in a way that they cannot replicate and reproduce anymore. And microorganisms then are not harmful. Yeah, of course. You just mentioned chlorine. Uh, if I think of chemical products putting in the water for the disinfection, um, and then I think of the drinking water treatment, for example, I think the disinfection with UV light is the better solution, isn't it? Yeah, there are some disadvantages uh, when we talk about chlorination. There are some so-called disinfection byproducts. Yeah. You might know them when you take a glass of water yeah, in countries smells. where they like to use a lot of chlorine, then you have the yeah, smell and we say it smells like chlorine. These are these disinfection byproducts which are actually harmful also for humans. Yeah. And this cannot happen with UV treatment. Yeah, water with chlorine also does not taste very good. Yeah, it's indeed. not delicious. No. Um, okay, we have this wonderful unit, the Dulcodis LP, Worldwide Innovation. Please explain to us how does it work. Yeah, my pleasure. If you have a look at the unit, we see uh, we are having a control cabinet with instrumentation, instrumentation and the HMI. We are also having the electronic lamp drives inside, which are driving the UV lamps. The UV lamps themselves are positioned in a UV reactor, which is mostly made of stainless steel. Then we are having an inlet and an outlet, and the water then is flowing in in the inlet, and here we already see a very important uh, part of the system, which is the so-called turbulence plate. Then the water is flowing through the chamber, it is exposed to the UV, the water is disinfected, and it's then coming out at the outlet, and we have to save disinfected drinking water. If a wonderful slogan for the Dukades LP, we can read it right behind us, kills germs and costs. We just spoke about the germs, what about the costs? Yeah, the costs are, of course, always a very important issue. And, well, at the first glance, UV sounds so easy. We have a reactor, we have UV lamps, you just turn it on, water is flowing through, everything is easy. But if you go into detail, it's a lot more complex. And now I'm coming back to the turbulence plate, yes. which we developed in order to have a uniform dose distribution, which means no matter what of where the water is flowing through the chamber, we always get the same amount of UV intensity because it doesn't really help if the water is flowing fast at the chamber wall and does not see enough UV because then the microorganisms are leaving uh, the chamber. Sure. So it is, in order to be efficient, we need to minimize the amount of lamps and in order to do that, we have to have a flow distribution and optimization through the turbulence plate. Yeah just spoke about the lamps, the various flux lamps. You invented them for the Dulcadis LP. A special thing. Uh, what is so special with them? Yeah, in order to be as efficient as possible, uh, we wanted to dim the lamp. We wanted to change the power of the lamp yeah. to adapt the lamp power exactly to the flow rate the customer ha has. And again, this sounded so easy because just dim it down and everything is done. But, it is not. but reality, it's not. Because what we have seen is that 
the lamp temperature is affected by the water temperature because the heat from the lamp is transferred into the water. And the cold of the water, the cold of the lamp is. And if a lamp is getting too cold, what happens is it's not working very good. that the UV intensity suddenly is not stable, going up and down. And you do not want to have this because if the UV intensity is not stable, you can't, cannot have a safe disinfection. Exactly, yeah, it sounds familiar to me. I mean, I mean if, if, I, not, if I'm freezing or it's getting too hot, I do not work effectively. So what did you do to find a solution for this problem? Yeah, we had to have a great idea, which we had actually. Uh, we have been able to wrap around a heating element around the amalgam. The amalgam is an important part of the lamp, which we have to keep in the right temperature. So we wrapped around the heating element and whenever the temperature is getting too low or too high, we are controlling the temperature of the amalgam to be sure to always be in the optimum temperature range. Oh, smart idea. So it's like in my home place where it's getting cold outside, my wife will say, hey honey, turn on the heating, I'm freezing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what it did. Yes, okay, and uh, Prominent is really the only one worldwide offering this solution. Exactly. We are the only one who, uh, who can offer at the moment a dynamic lamp heating. Yeah. And uh, this, of course, gives us the possibility now to dim the lamp from 100% down to 50% in a temperature range of 2 to 30 degree, very stable. And at the end, it means we have the potential for energy saving up to 50%. That sounds brilliant. Thank you very much, Wolfgang Matthias, product manager at Prominent, Dulcudes LP, worldwide innovation, ladies and gentlemen at home watching our live stream first seen on our booth on the IFAD exhibition in Munich. Thank you, Wolfgang. Thank you as well. So this has been the Worldwide Innovation. We want to talk to you about, to, to another guy, about a unique system. You may see it right behind me because it's a very big system. This is for the removal of micropollutants from wastewater. Okay, micropollutants, what is it? Ladies, maybe you know this from the morning time. When you're in the bathroom, try, excuse me, we have a live presentation. No, sorry for that. Um, you know that, ladies, maybe from your home, when you're in the bathroom, standing right in front of the mirror, want to put on some makeup. You have a powder box in your hand, it falls down in the sink, and then it's broke. You get down the powder box again, what do you do with the rest of the powder? Turn on the water, and then the powder is in the wastewater. And these micropollutants have to be removed. How? Okay with this unit and how that works. Django Botma will tell us, he's from Sweden. Um, he's product manager at Prominent Tomal. Hello Django, here it is. Hello. Hi. Um, Django, I just mentioned cosmetic articles as an example for micropollutants, but there are so many more in the water we cannot see. Uh, what are micropollutants? Yeah, good question. Micropollutants that are harmful chemicals like pesticides, uh, drug residues, cosmetics, uh, medicines, and things like that. Yeah. And they're harmful for the nature and the animals, and also harmful the, for the ecology. Of course. Uh, in the end, the wastewater ends up in the rivers and the seas again, and yeah. it's back in the nature. And we cannot see the micropollutants, we cannot grab them, but they have to be removed. But how could we do that? There are in general two different uh, options to do this, either ozone or activated carbon. And here in the booth, we show this uh, unit for activated carbon and preparation of that. Okay, first of all, I think we have to explain what exactly is activated carbon. Mm -hmm. Activated carbon is a fine powder that has a very high adsorption ability, which means that these harmful chemicals, they stick to this activated carbon particles. Ah. And in that way, it's possible to remove them out from the sludge. Okay, that sounds very clever. So mm -hmm. it's sticky, you can get out the micropollutants and there the water is clean again. Um, how does the unit work? Well, what you see here is a big bag handling unit and on top there you see a joke prepared for forklift or electrical hoist. Uh, further below you see a cone with a vibrator yeah. and down here you see a docking station for uh, the big bag which is a dust-free dock docking station. Uh, this here is the multi-screw feeder, and the multi-screw feeder that feeds the activated carbon into the wetting cone further below here, where it will be mixed with water 
uh, and transferred from the ejector to the dosing point. So you have a mixture afterwards, get this to the dosing point, put it in the wastewater, and now yep. we are able to remove the micropollutants from the wastewater. Yes. Um, you just mentioned the multi-screw feeder. Uh, this is a very interesting thing you invented for this unit. What is so special with this multi-screw feeder in your unit? Yeah, it's good that you ask that question, because the multi-screw feeder consists of five interacting feeder screws. Oh, really? And uh, that means that uh, uh, this uh, chemical will not be compressed, which means that you can keep a constant bulk density. And that is the main reason why this multi-screw feeder can have, have, has this uh, high accuracy. We talk about plus minus one to two percent. Wow. Uh, okay, the accuracy is very high. Uh, but what is the big benefit for me if I have this unit? Okay, high accuracy, what, what, what does it mean for me? Well, due to this high accuracy, it means that you don't need a weighing equipment. And weighing equipment means cost. So you actually save cost. Yeah, but if a client says, OK, prominent Omal, that sounds really good, but um, I want to have a weighing system integrated in this unit. Is it possible? Yes, of course. No problem. We can uh, offer that as well. OK, let's talk about maintenance and follow-up costs. What about it? This? Yeah, due to this simple design and robust construction that we have on this unit, it means low maintenance. Fantastic. Um, so if a company boss may thinks about investing his money in this unit, what are the most convincing points, the most convincing arguments for him to put his money in this unit? Yeah, I would like to highlight four things. First of all, it is uh, the high accuracy on the multi-screw feeder. Yeah. Secondly, the uh, reliable unit. Third, it is dust-free. And as mentioned, the low maintenance. Fantastic. Django Bultma, product manager from Sweden, from Prominent Homa. Thank you so much for giving us all the information yep. about your fantastic unit. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we gave you some information about a unique system for the removal of micropollutants right here. We spoke about uh, worldwide innovation, the Dulcodes LP, the disinfection of water with UV light. You can find, of course, further more information on our homepage, prominent.com, or for directly contacting us, please press the contact button, or maybe you come to Munich, visit us on our booth in hall number A3 on the IFAD exhibition. We're here up till Friday for you. It was a pleasure to be here for you. My name is Marco Heinzon. This was the live stream coming to you directly from our booth on Tuesday. Have a nice day. Bye.